How can I help you? Hi, um, let me have one Mac White Sea Bass sandwich. I'm fine. Um, a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich. Um, it's made with uh, uh, white sea bass from California. Hello? Hello? You guys don't have a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich? No. Huh, what kind of fish sandwich do you have? We have a filetto fish. A what kind of fish? Filetto fish. A f what kind of fish is that? It's, it's a filet and it's number 12. Thank you. Um, I, I tried ordering a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich. We have the fish fillet. That's the only one I know we carry. And you don't know what kind of fish is in the fish fillet? Uh, not that I know. Of. I know you can find out on our website. Maybe I should go to their website and look for a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, you had a question about the fillet of fish? Yeah. Um, I'm actually. Uh, we're not sure what exactly what type of fish it is. I gotta find another McDonald's. I got some McDonald's got to be carrying it. I know it. Can I order some McDonald's yeah, can I order a uh, Mac White Sea Bass sandwich? Um, and can uh, what, you, a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich. And can you get some bacon on it? A couple strips of bacon. Well, I just figured it was McDonald's, and you guys would have a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich here. I don't know if you're talking about the, are you, are you talking about breakfast or lunch? Um, well, I mean, you can eat it for breakfast, but usually lunch or dinner. I ordered a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich, but they told me they didn't carry them. I've actually never heard of that. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe you guys have it for your lunchtime menu. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't just a promotion? I ordered a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich, but you guys didn't have any? A Mac White Sea Bass sandwich? So it's obvious McDonald's is not going to be any help. I know a place in Redondo Beach that sells fresh white sea bass. It's called Captain Kids. They've been around for a long time. The owner, his name is John. Him and his family have owned it for about 30 years. I've been going there since I was a kid. That place has got fresh white sea bass. I think I need to head there and then I can start working on this Mac White Sea Bass sandwich. There it is, Captain Kids. Man, I just love this place. Uh-oh, it's pretty packed. Uh -huh, I just love, look at all this fish. I just love looking at all this fish. Take a look at that, my God. Jeez. All kind of crabs, lobster, scallops, king crabs. Wow. Shrimp cocktails, shrimp, tiger prawns. Fresh, always fresh in here. Oh, there's beer and wine. Man, oh man, here's the fish. Oh, there's yellowtail. Albacore steaks, cod fillets, salmon fillets, wow, swordfish, halibut, halibut, oh, look at those halibut steaks, mahi mahi, oh, white sea bass, $19.99 a pound, awesome, it looks fresh. I bought a couple of nice fillets of white sea bass, I'm heading home, man, it's time to go and make this sandwich, I am one hungry guy. Uh, McDonald's is not carrying the Mac white sea bass sandwich. So I'm going to do the Mac White Sea Bass Sandwich just for you guys today. I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm jazzing it up. It's going to be really special. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a wasabi sweet relish mayonnaise to lather up our sandwich. We're also going to create some onion rings to, to go along with our sandwich. And then I'm going to show you guys a special frying technique that involves double dipping the White Sea Bass and the onion rings in buttermilk. So this is going to be just an outstanding sandwich. There's just a few simple ingredients we need. Lettuce, tomatoes, some a hamburger bun, some white sea bass. Go out and get that. Um, and some onions for onion rings. Believe me, this is going to be a dinner, a lunch, even a McDonald's breakfast. A potential McDonald's breakfast menu item. My name is Yanni, you guys are inside the fisherman's belly, and I'm going to show you guys how to create a Mac White Sea Bass Sandwich. Alright gang, let's start off by making this uh, wasabi mayonnaise here. Okay, first I'm going to start off with four tablespoons of mayo. One, and four. And now two tablespoons of wasabi paste. One and two. All right. And then two tablespoons of sweet relish. Make sure this is sweet relish because the sweetness is going to offset the heat from the wasabi. 
And this is going to turn out to be just a great sauce. Bellini. Oh, it's got that nice color of green to it. Oh, man. This is going to go perfect with the fish and the uh, onion rings. Okay, I'm going to go put this in the refrigerator and keep moving. All right, it's time to cut the tomato. Time to cut the onion. I want a thinner cut for the sandwich. And now I want a thicker cut for the onion rings. <laughs> onion ring city. I love it. All right, well, our onion rings are almost done. It's time to go to the frying station and get ready to start frying. Okay, gang, we're at the point where we've got to create our frying station. We're going to have a, a plate for our flour, our flour dredge, and we're also going to have a plate for our buttermilk. That's our secret ingredient today. All right, let's get a little flour in this pan over here. Uh, Oh, already making a mess. All right, now we got to season our flour. There's a couple pinches of salt. Opa, a couple pinches of pepper. Man. All right, gang, well, I've got a couple of uh, white sea bass fillets. So the first thing I'm going to do is dredge the fillets in flour. Coat them really well. Then into the buttermilk. Now the flour will help the buttermilk stick to the filet. And then, believe it or not, back into the flour. And this will kind of give it like a double coat. And then into the frying pan. Oh. And then into the frying pan. Oh my God. Take a look at that. Oh my God. Wow. Probably about a minute, minute and a half on one side, and I'll go another minute, minute and a half on the other side. We'll be in there. All right, gang, it looks like they're done. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Okay. It's been about three or four minutes all together. That's nice. Look at that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to season these up since they're right out of the frying pan. Now's the time to season them. All right, now we'll set these aside and cool and we'll tackle our onion rings. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these onion rings and keep in mind, I don't wanna overcrowd my frying pan and get overzealous. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in batches and they're not gonna be big. That way I can take control of the temperature and monitor everything. All right, all right, here's my buttermilk. I'm gonna do the flour test here. Oh yeah, see how that's sizzling up there? That means that oil is ready. So these are these onion rings are nice and coated, and believe it or not, this is going right back into the flour. And then from here, it'll go into the frying pan. Wow. It smells so good in here with these onion rings just going, man. Um, I think I'm going to take this opportunity right now to start toasting up our sesame seed buns. All right, looks like it's time to turn them over. Oh, wow. Oh. Once people figure out you can make onion rings, you'll become the onion ring king. Believe me. Oh, man. All right, fellas, and there we have it. Buttermilk onion rings, right from our belly straight to your belly to go along with that Mac White Sea Best sandwich. There you go. I'm adding thick strips of bacon. Center cut, thick strips of bacon are gonna go right on top of this sandwich. Believe me, it will be to die for. Check this out. God, it smells so good in here. Oh my God. A white sea bass sandwich with bacon. Who would have ever thought? What madman would have ever come up with that?
All right, all right, gang. I am really excited. I mean, this has been a lot of work. Remember, I went all over Kingdom Come looking for a Mac White Sea Bass sandwich, and I had to come home and make my own. So, I've got everything ready to go. It's final assembly time. I've got my onion rings to go along with our sandwich. I've got our white sea bass, our bacon, our wasabi sauce, our lettuce, tomatoes, onions. It's time to start assembling. All right, here we go. Get our bun. Lather it up with some green sauce. Add some onion. Add some lettuce. Add a couple pieces of tomato. Add a little salt to the tomato. Always want to salt your tomatoes. Put this right down here. Perfect. All right, let's get our fish. Let's get our bacon. Oh my God. And get some wasabi sauce on the top half here. There right, we go. Let's get some onion rings on there. Ah. Here's that Mac White Sea Bass sandwich with bacon and that wasabi mayo complemented with those homemade buttermilk onion rings and that wasabi dipping sauce. This is one dish, I'm telling you boys.